Haywood Field has already hosted some amazing events this season since its reopening, but the hype around this one 1500m race from a collegiate perspective has most fans eager to see the outcome as it probably suggests the favourite moving into the Nationals next month. This field featured Yared Engus, who was the 1500m defending champion, Cole Hocker, who has had a stellar season winning the mile and the 3000m indoors, and Cooper Tier, who set the all-time collegiate record in the mile and ranked himself in the top 10 all-time for the indoor mile. The race was only really missing Samuel Tanner and also Elliot Kipsang, and other than that it's pretty much what we'd expect to see in the Nationals. The race was a similar scene to what we have been seeing this year with Cooper Tier at the front doing most of the work. Something we haven't seen often this year is the fact that Cole Hocker wasn't right behind Cooper going into the last lap. However, Cole Hocker somehow was way back in the field and with a very, very strong last lap managed to come back and place third with a time of 3.36. With around 50 metres to go, Cooper Tier looked like he'd done enough for the win, but whether it was him slowing down or Engus speeding up, the tables had turned with Yaren Engus coming through for first place in the last 10 metres. With only a one hundredth of a second separating the two athletes, both of them running under the stellar time of 3.36, which has placed them 7th and 8th for the NCAA outdoor 1500m. The main question I have to take away from this is if Cooper Tier is in a tactical race and decides not to lead from the front, is he still the favourite going into the Nationals? Because in every race we have seen him get beat, he has done most of the work and only fades in the last 50 metres. Or is one of the other two runners in this race your favourite to win the title? And will any other athletes who didn't compete at the Oregon Twilight event be able to challenge these three come nationals?